I'm looking for an apartment for my fighter, Killer King and his wife, Dixie. I'm Jimmy Dill, his manager. Well, you happen to be very lucky, sir. I just have one apartment left. Good, they'll take it. Oh, just a minute, Bill. Uh, what kind of gents hang out in this joint? Oh, we have a group of very high-class tenants. They're very neighborly and friendly. Oh, well, never mind the friendly stuff. The last place we lived, every guy in the joint was trying to make eyes at the little woman. When I cooled a couple of them off, with an uppercut like this. <laughs> the lousy manager threw us out. Well, you, you won't have any of that kind of trouble here, sir. Oh, no, our male tenants are all very gentlemanly. It better be, or you'll find crate hanging on your front door. Uh, the killer is a very jealous man. I'm beginning to get the idea. May I show you the apartment? It's about time. This way, please. It's very nicely furnished. And you won't have to worry about the men in this apartment. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, what's going to happen to him ain't going to be no accident. I believe I see it coming. What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? Well, maybe it was an accident. I don't think a pudgy little worm like you'd have sense enough to get fresh from my Dixie. You're right, mister. Why, if a dame even looked at him, he'd run and hide under the bed. Chuffield. Landlord, I thought you Why is it? Why is it, Mr. Rabbit? Two minutes after a new tenant moves into my apartment, your playmate Costello has to start a riot with him. Why can't he live and let live? I don't know. He gets mixed up with that Dixie girl again. All you have to worry about is living. It's a lucky thing for me that Costello broke away from Killer and ran out of the place. If Killer knew that Costello lived here, he would never have taken the apartment. I'll speak to Killer in the morning. Maybe I can patch things up. You better talk to him on the phone. It's safer. By the way, have you heard from Costello? No. The last I saw of him... He was a cloud of dust going down Main Street. I think this belongs here. I found a hiding in a box in the park. Well, I'm surprised at you, Costello, acting like a coward. Now, you go on up to the killer and assert your rights. That's just what I'm afraid of. Rights and lefts and lefts and rights. Uh, Not me. I'm going with Mike to the station house and I'm going to sleep in jail tonight. Why? It's much safer. Killer don't know you live here. I know, but you know how this guy <clears throat> likes to gossip. Why, that's crazy. I should tell him and have my establishment torn down right over my own head. All right, relax. I'll go out and get some sandwiches. You mean you want me to stay here? Why not? Look, if you're afraid, just lock the door. That's exactly what I'm going to do. When I come back, I'll knock three times. You knock three times, so it's just a signal. A signal. You know me. I'm cold, you and I. That comes in. The killer us like a clunked guy. I'd like to fuck him up. No, no. Funny, what are you laughing at? Well, first of all, I'm not Abbott. And second, you don't need that to defend yourself against poor little me. Yeah. I'm sorry I disturbed you, but I need your help. If your husband catches me with you, I'll be the one that'll need help. Oh, that's all in your imagination. I made him realize he was acting like a big baby and he apologized all over the place. So don't lose any sleep over the killer. Yeah. If he sees me talking to you, he'll put me to sleep permanently, and I don't like that. Oh, forget it. I'm just crazy about living. I love to live. <laughs> I know. Look, I want you to put this light globe up in my apartment. The old one's burning out. I don't, I don't know. Why, why are you always... Oh, oh, please. Look, killer's training at the gym. He won't be back for hours. That's why I want you to put this new globe in, so I can read till he gets home. Oh, he's at the gym? Uh-huh. Well, I'm... I don't... Oh, come hmm. on. Come on, maybe you can help me. <laughs> The killer was here, he could reach up and do it without even nothing. No. Careful. Yeah, yeah, boy. Well, here's you. <laughs> 
Pardon me, lady. Oh, <laughs> guys, with easy little eyes and a mean little mouth. Oh, heaven be that you now. If I'd have seen him, I'd have screamed. Woo! Well, you see, he starts screaming because no lady's safe with that wolf hanging around. Oh, thank you. I do hope you get him. Oh, fine. And when I do, don't look. You can read about it in the papers. Thank you, kind sir. I'd like to... Good morning, Mr. Costello. Good morning, Mr. Abbott. Hey, doing? she knows our name. Yeah. I met Mr. Fields when I was on my way out to pick my dog up at the kennel. He told me all about you. Uh-oh. -uh. Don't you believe anything that guy says? <laughs> Why, Mr. Costello, Mr. Fields had nothing but the nicest things to say about you. Said you were a perfect gentleman. Are you sure you were talking to Mr. Fields? <laughs> of course. It's the bald headed one. Uh. Holy smoke. That fool furniture man left all this new stuff while I was out. How am I going to get it in the room? Now, uh, you've got nothing to worry about, Mr. Costello. Myself, we'll uh, take it all into the apartment for you. I mean, after all, I don't want to come within 40 miles of this here woman. I'm a kind of a killer, that husband of hers. Oh, you don't have to worry. Dahl wouldn't dare touch you after the bowling out I gave him last night. Who's Dahl? That killer. I call him Dahl when I'm not busy throwing things at him. Well, don't be such a coward, Costello. Now, Mrs. King needs our help to take the stuff into the apartment. Now, just a minute, Abbott. Ooh. If Mr. King comes home, I don't want to be seen within 40 miles of this woman. Why? Oh, oh please don't worry, Mr. Costello. Oh, let me call you Lou. Huh? Killer won't be home for hours. Lou. Stop, stop. I mean, that's all. You're sweet. Oh, I can feel myself getting carried away. Shall we start with the Denver? You, you're a sucker for a pretty face. Oh, come on, get over there. I got this little stuff okay. here. Here, wait, I'll help you with that. Oh. Did you get on this end over here? You have to get over there? Let's see you do it on myself. Yeah. All right, well, come on, I'll get up. Oh. 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 Hey, uh, oh. Oh. Now. Take it easy. Take oh. it. Watch out for your hands. Oh. Take it easy now. Oh. Wait a minute. Stop. There we are. <laughs> well, come on, Paul. Oh. Oh. What do you call that? Tiger? Yeah, tiger. Yeah. Killer named him. Thinks it'll make him grow up to be ferocious. Ferocious? He is a cute little fellow, though. Hey, I'll show you. Cute little fellow. Well, he did. Will you keep quiet a minute? <laughs> Will you keep quiet? You see, I'm talking to a lady. Oh, and is this about the place you'd want this here? Well, I want it over in there. Over in here? Yeah. Why do you put it over there when a lady wants it over there? Why, why do you put it in the center of a room? You this pushed, is no place. You pushed it in. Now, let's see. Uh, about that, let me see. Yeah, we can get it over there. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, look, will you come on, stop playing around? It's how much of King rearranged the furniture. Oh, playing all the time. Swing oh. that around. No, oh. never mind, never mind. Did it hurt your little head? <laughs> Tell us which way you want. Right over there. Swing it right around. There we are. How was that? That's it. Oh, that's fine. Right yeah. Now let's get the rest of the stuff. Come on. Come on. <coughs> well, come on. There we are. Come on, bring it all in. What are you? Get the stuff in there. Come on, come on, come on. Aren't you home early, Mr. King? Oh. Yeah, a little trouble with a couple of my sparring partners. Uh-oh. Hurt <laughs> <laughs> my little head. Oh. 
Run for the hills. The killer's coming. Oh, oh don't hide me. Nelly, don't be silly. Even part of flee. Hide this flea. Hide me. Well, gotta run along to the little wife. Gets awful lonesome, cooped up by herself. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, so long. See you later. <laughs> Get down, the killer's coming. Hiya, Dad. You're home early. Yeah, I ran out of sparring partners. Did that happen? Nope. Ambulance guys carried him out. Mr. Abbott was kind enough to help me carry in the stuff the furniture man left in the hall. Gee, yeah, but thanks. It's nice to help the little woman. Oh, it's all right. Say, by the way, where's that little weasel pal of yours? Uh, he just uh, dropped out of sight. I don't know. Well, if he wants to enjoy good health, he better stay out of sight while I'm around. Honey, uh, how do you like the new couch? Gee, that's beautiful. Got any springs? Oh, oh. yeah, the very best. Oh. Who's that? Oh, the tiger. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> the dog, yes. Oh. Oh, just a mess of color of my eyes. Oh, gosh. Is it comfortable here? Oh, yes. Oh, I wish we had it this soft in the ring. <laughs> What's in those bundles? Oh, new drapes for the windows. I'll show you. You're a mighty lucky fellow to have a wife that takes such pride and pleasure in fixing up your apartment. You're telling me that's why I'm so goofy about the little woman. Trouble is, too many other guys get the same idea. Nah, I don't like meshes. Ah, they're the scum of the earth. <clears throat> I've been too easy with them. But the next time I find a guy fooling around with my Dixie, I'm going to ram his head right down to his shoes. I don't blame you. There the idea. How do you like it? Oh, those are beautiful. Let's hang him. I'll help. All right. <laughs> there, how's that? Is that beautiful? No, no, doll. You have to put the drapes on the rod before you hang them. Now she tells me. <laughs> Get the rod. <laughs> Belongs to this hat. Now don't lie. Turn green. The plumber left it here when he fixed the sink. What's his name? Why, uh, uh Harry Stratton. I just, I just happened to see him on the way out of here. He's a great pal of mine. Oh boy, a regular guy, a fast worker. Mm -hmm. And how come your pal Harry Stratton has the initials L.C. in this hat? Oh, L.C. Uh, well, that was his fighting name. He used to be a fighter. They call him Long Count. Yeah. Satisfied, Snooper Puss? Now come on, help me with a drape. Hmm. A little pal of mine had a fight in Chicago and got a long count years ago, but his name wasn't Stratton. Come on, get to the work. Yeah, I'm going to have a self smoke while you fix that. Here, I'll Here, give you a hand. <laughs> said if he took it up, he'd buy us new linoleum. I don't believe him. Ah. Huh? Oh, I just dropped by to give you the killer's rent. Why don't you get yourself a workhorse? That's all I do around here. I gotta pick this up, carry this, I gotta do the washing of dishes. I very me. seldom ever ask you to do me a favor. Now pick that up and take it down to Mr. Field. Yeah. Now, he's going with one. What are you doing? What are you doing now? What's the matter? I told you to put it on your shoulder. Take it down to Mr. Fields. Put it up on your shoulder. Put it up on your shoulder. Pick up your hat. Uh, will you ever do anything right? Come on, come on, turn around the other way. Well, this is Saku Schultz, our new sparring partner. Glad to know you, Saku. Run along, Saku. Uh, the killer's apartment's down the hall, second door to the right. I'll join you in a minute. 
There you are. Now go ahead, get out of there. Mister, I'm sorry. Oh, hey. What happened? I hit him. It was an accident. Uh, an accident? I only hit him once. You, you mean to say that you did this to Sarko? Yeah. Well, how many times did you hit him? Just once. Well, he don't know his own strength. <laughs> this is the first time that sarko has been knocked off his feet in ten years. Sarko, oh, how do you feel? Boy, what a wall. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, oh, apologize. Oh, I think I sprained my ankle. What? Uh, uh, take him into Mr. Field's apartment and get a doctor, quick. <clears throat> Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. Uh, imagine hitting Sako so hard he sprained his ankle. I'm sorry. Boy, could I use that pal of yours. For what? We've had three sparring partners already this week. If I don't have one for this afternoon's workout, the killer will murder me. Wait a minute. You want to use my partner, Luke Costello? Who else? As a sparring partner for the killer? Certainly. Oh, get that out of your head, mister. Just a minute. That's my buddy. That's my pal. That's my bosom friend. We were raised together. Huh? I think that we're with that boy. I wouldn't... How much is it? <laughs> 200 bucks for a few days' work. You've got a new sparring partner. Great. Wait a minute. Here he comes now. A uh, little line won't hurt. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. Hello, Lou. Well, I'm uh, sorry this thing happened. Lou, I'm, I'm sorry this happened, but, uh, you know... You're taking the bread and butter right out of this man's uh, mouth and his whole family. You know, he's married. He's got nine kids. Oh, my. Yeah, they'll possibly starve to death, won't they? Yes. Oh, what can I do to help? Well, you can save his job for him if you'll take his place for a few days. Oh, I'd be more than delighted to help yeah, that I, poor man. I told you that, didn't I? Mean, I? I'll take his job because I wouldn't want his wife and nine children to starve. There you are. On account of me. Yeah, well, you'll be perfect for the job. Come on, let's go. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, uh, um, who's your next of kin? <laughs> your mother. Your mother, huh? Mm -hmm. Why did you ask that? They only asked that in case you died. That's why I want to know. Come on. Tough day? No. <laughs> just, just tired from hanging around. Where's your pal Costello? Oh, him and Killer up in the hills. Have you called the police? Uh, don't get excited. Killer and Costello are the best of buddies. In fact, they're... They're out doing road work together. Well, now I've heard everything. When did this happen? Well, the killer needed a sparring partner, and Dill and I convinced Costello to take the job. What'd you use, Ethan? Oh, no, certainly not. We told Lou that he was a regular sort of a guy, a real sporty fella. And Costello went for that? Why not? Uh, we told him the killer was lonesome, you know, one of those things. Well, you don't mean to tell me Costello's going to box with killer. Yes, but uh, Costello don't know it yet. Don't say anything. I'm going to go dust off my first aid kit. I'll be back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two hours. They must be running over all the mountains in the state. Hey, what is this? My own homemade liniment. It'll burn the hide off you, but it sure kills all the soreness. It don't kill the one you rub it on, does it? There he is. Uh, hey. 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 What, what hit him? Hills, hills, hills. Hills, hills. 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 Put down the hills, your pal. Oh, put down the hills. Your pal, bud. I don't want any more hills. Take it easy, pal. What day is it today? The Friday. Friday, no more hills for no, no, me. No, 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 no. Take it easy, boy. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong, though? Oh, why did they do it to me? What, what happened, though? <laughs> You told me it was a nice job to take that man's place. He had a wife and nine children. He told me I thought he was a traveler. Look, it's, it's worse than that, Lou. You just have twins. Oh, hey. Lou, Lou, think of one thing. You're saving his job, Lou. I'm saving his job. This isn't a job. It's a project, Albert. Boy, he's yeah. uh, Take good care of him. Be very tender with him. Oh. Don't hurt him, he's bruised all over now. Okay, I'll have him fit as a fiddle in no time. I'll treat him like a lamb. Oh, 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 oh,
stop acting like a baby. A little liniment can't hurt you. I'd rather be rubbed with a blowtorch. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, what, and walk out on killer? It's better than being carried out. Oh, he can hurt his feelings. Yeah, I think of my feelings. Oh, now stop worrying about yourself all the time. Now, we'll go down and get some coffee and sandwiches. And while you're relaxed, while you're resting, go and give those uh, Indian clubs a whirl. Come on, boys. Yeah, but... Yeah, just a minute. What? I'm getting to know the meaning of that nearest of kin business. Well, I'll get next. I'll get next. Next, but I'll be right. Big bully! Oh, you... oh, never... 